Hello everyone, this is Hanami Sims and welcome back to my channel for a brand new speed build. If you're new here, hi, welcome in, and if you are a returning viewer, it's so good to see you and I hope you've been well since the last time. So today I am building this beach camping spot in Solani where we are going to have two different looking and sized campers parked right next to each other. So one is going to be an actual camping van, meanwhile the other one will be a camping trailer that can be attached to a car. And in the beginning, I was hoping to be able to get another camper in here, but I just couldn't make it work without looking too cramped. And also for this one, I wanted to focus more on the outside as well, like all the different activities the Sims can do here and the landscaping as well. So I just wanted to make this a lively and cozy place for your Sims. This is, by the way, built on the sandbar lot in Solani, which is a 30 by 20 lot. This is originally where the bar is, I do believe, and I was contemplating building on this lot or the smaller one just down this neighborhood that isn't a waterfront lot, but I think it was smarter to go for the slightly bigger lot, and I'm happy with how this ends up looking like in the end. This is actually going to be functional as a residential rental if you own the for rent pack since this isn't a waterfront lot because for some reason we are unable to build livable rentals on those lots, but I am glad we can at least use the non-waterfront lots for those type of builds in Solani instead, like this one. You could also turn this into a vacational rental if you don't want to actually live on the lot, but you know, just vacation here once in a while with your sims. I know for sure that one thing I love to do in the sims is to create summer or winter vacations using the calendar feature from the seasons expansion pack so maybe when it's the winter time i think it would be nice to just get in your car and drive off to solani for a warm and relaxing environment and this lot also has great access to the crystal clear water here and i think it would be amazing to go for a swim here so we are just watch me build the actual campers here, I'll just call them that since there are two different versions, just to not cause any confusion about what I'm talking about or which camper I'm talking about. But yeah, I made a few campers earlier that's up on my gallery, and you might have seen two of them as speed builds on my channel previously. So naturally I was inspired by those, and basically how I made them is that I create a second floor and I pull the foundation arrow down to kind of cheat the height of it to be lower than default. And by doing this, the room is floating. The reason for this is that I use this base game live edit object of a trailer of some sort, I do believe, and I put it below the room so it looks like it's on wheels, basically. I had some much needed help from the tool mod by Twisted Mexi to move things around and whatnot in this speed build, but don't worry, you don't need to have the actual mod to be able to download or play in this build. It's basically just a helpful tool when building so you can place things a bit more accurately, or you can also size things up and down or even rotate objects. So I use this tool to size up a base game live edit car, for example, the white one here, and I place it inside of the room on the right there to kind of create the illusion of this being a camper van. And naturally, I place a wall on the inside so you don't actually get a view of the car inside or, you know, in the living area there. And on top of the room, I placed a roof and I pull it slightly over the car too. And like this, you can make your own camper van. The other van though, the one that is going to end up with these pink metal plates is similar in a way, you know, with the trailer on the bottom. However, instead, I placed a car in the front so it looks like the trailer is attached to the car. I also did something different with the roof for this one. There's a very small curved roof just right next to the room. And then there are two different pieces of roof with different heights on top of the actual room. I end up with a small skylight as well. And I just add a few details like a satellite dish from the Strangerville pack. And I did some solar panels from Eco Lifestyle on the other one. And I think this pink camper ends up looking really cute. Not just the color of it, but the actual shape made with the roof pieces too. And that's basically how I made the campers and if you'd like to try to build either one of these or both yourself, you can always watch back the video and give it a go too. 
I briefly mentioned the landscaping and exterior earlier, and now we can see me putting it all together. We have the mandatory palm trees here and there, of course, to blend in with the rest of the environment of Sulani. I love the one that hangs over quite a bit, so I use that more in the back here on the right side. I'm not sure how much greenery you would find on a beach like this in real life, but here I just needed to add in some low grass patches, some plants and other short trees to, you know, add more life and also just add different areas using the plants. And I had a lot of fun putting this space together. I found this one big metal pergola actually from the Eco Lifestyle pack with this kind of see-through fabric attached to it on the top and I felt the need to use it so I put it up close to one of the campers and the swatch with this colorful fabric felt very correct to use here it just looks very beachy to me in a way beneath this pergola I put some plastic lounge chairs and a table for dining also you know the mandatory plastic chairs I also did this cute thing with the pool loungers here where I used the tool mod to rotate the loungers so it looks like they are standing up against the camper or like maybe drying or something or you can just you know easily pick it up with you on the way to the beach next up we have this Solani style barbecue pit sort of as a central piece on the lot where I imagine everyone would just be coming together for a meal or get together of some sorts but you know not just the sims living here but maybe their family friends acquaintances as well so i imagine it to be a very social spot i don't think i've used this barbecue pit before so it was about time i put it to use and i think it fits perfectly on this a lot other than that we have a ping pong table maybe as a surprise element, I'm not too sure if you would have one one of those on a beach, but I thought it was a fun addition here. We have a swing set, the one that's actually from the Island Living Pack, that's almost like a do-it-yourself project with these thick branches and rope. So this is definitely a family-friendly place too. And I actually managed to fit in a bunk bed and a double bed in the pink camper, so you could definitely have one or more kids living here. And I even put a tent outside, so you can definitely have, you know, a lot, a lot of people living here. <laughs> Another thing that I don't think I've done before is to add these garden patches from Cottage Living on a beach lot before. So there is a more sandy-like swatch for them, so they work really nicely here. I just added some of the debug watermelons on top of the patches to make it look nice for both the video and the actual build, but you can of course just get rid of them and start gardening yourself. I think the Sims living here would totally try to be a bit more self-sufficient, such as growing some of their own food or fishing their own food, even though arguably the interior of these campers are more on the modern side, like clean side, but that can always be switched up though if you'd like to try a different kind of look and feel. The inside of each camper is also not the biggest, so the camping van on the right here is actually only 4x4 tiles, so I had very limited space for what's needed for Sim to live here. I basically used the Murphy bed love seat combo from the Tiny Living Stuff pack, and the bed is sort of pushed up against one wall, but your Sims can always scoot over to the other side so you can easily have two Sims live in one camper. The bathroom though, what should I say? It's two tiles big, yet I still managed to make it functional with a shower, toilet, and a sink. The trick here from what I've seen other people do previously is to move the toilet and the Discover University uh, shower close to each other on one wall. So you would need to turn on the move objects cheat as it's quite finicky to make this functional so I just kept moving the objects around a bit until my test sim used all three objects without fail. So this is a pretty handy trick for a tiny house where you very often don't have much space to utilize and I just checked before doing this voiceover and you can actually turn this lot into a tiny home residential if you do own the tiny living pack. So this lot only utilizes 68 tiles out of 100 and it qualifies 
as a tier 3 small home, which does give you the perk Lighten the Load, which lowers your bills, and the perk Feeling Fine all the time, which makes happy, inspired, and focused buffs last twice as long, which is pretty handy. I actually haven't played around with or even built a lot of tiny homes before, but it sure is a great challenge, and I think I should try to do more of them in the future. Because very often I go for bigger builds and I feel like, especially for the residential rental lot type, the builds tend to end up very big. So it was sort of like a, a breath of fresh air to do a lot like this with tiny homes and being able to focus more on the landscaping instead of, you know, a big apartment building or something similar. The other camper is bigger in size, I think almost double the size if I'm not mistaken, because here we do, we actually do have a pretty sizable bathroom, even with a walk-in wardrobe from a get together. The two kitchens in the campers are both quite similar to each other, so I used the dream home decorator kitchen set, like the counters, cabinet, stovetop, and the counter oven. Then I mixed in the for rent mini fridge and the mini dish washer, which I think go well together here. I also fit in a small dining table here in the middle of the pink camper, and as mentioned, we do have the bunk bed and double bed. As this is the camper with the satellite dish, I actually did put in a small TV here and even the gaming console from City Living. For when you just need a break from the outdoors, from all the swimming, biking, hiking and whatnot. A late night gaming session sounds pretty cozy actually in a camper like this. So yeah, I think this entire lot turned out to be cozy. It's almost like a community lot, I feel like. But yeah, that's basically it for the speed build. So let's jump into the game and check out what it looks like in real time. And here we do have the finished build of the camping spot and the two campers here in Sulani on the sandbar lot, which is a 30 by 20 lot. And I just find it so cozy, this lot here, you know, with all the different activities. You can just imagine so many like Sims hanging out here, going for a barbecue, you know, lounging, pay playing ping pong, anything like that, basically. So let's take a closer look on how it's looking. So in the front here, we do have these like dark stones in the sand. We have the mailboxes here, so each of them get their own. And like this banner here with these really nice flowers on them. Very like Solani and tropical. Over here, we do have the ping pong table that I mentioned. So some sims can like just hang out, have a good time together. Here's also the tent that I mentioned. So you can definitely have some people sleeping in there if you want to as well. We do have quite a few of these loungers here. Here's the really nice pergola. I wasn't too sure about this in the beginning, but I've quite I've grown quite fond of it, to be honest. I really like the colors on it, like at the top here with the fabric is like very beachy to me. And below it we have some dining table with the plastic chairs, of course. We have the pool loungers just like standing up against the camper here. There's also like some juice, a juice keg, you know, if you, you want to have a party or, some, of some, or something like that. In the middle here we have the barbecue pit so you can make some meals here or have like a, a good social moment with your sims. Over here we have the garden patches. I've never done these on a beach before but I've added some decorative watermelons so far but of course you can get rid of them and do your own gardening. I also put in these decorative lights just hanging here so there's like one attached over here, another one here and also one here as well. You can also sunbathe on these towels here if you'd like to under the umbrella here. This is definitely the smallest out of the two campers. You can even see that the bathroom is only two tiles wide. So I do, we do have the shower and toilet really close to each other here, but I have play tested this and it does function. We also have the Murphy bed currently put down here, but there's also like the couch. The kitchen over here is quite small, but it does have all the necessities. You have the stovetop, 
a fridge, and even a dishwasher. The other camper is a bit bigger. I feel like it's almost a double the size, basically, because we have this huge bathroom <laughs> with a walk-in wardrobe from Get Together. We have a quite similar kitchen. This one also has the counter oven from Dream Home Decorator. We have the cork board with some postcards on them. Also some photographies of fish and, you know, the sea life on the wall here. I don't know why Jeffrey Landgrab just went into the bed and started crying, but that's okay. It's okay, Jeffrey. <laughs> We do have the bunk bed here that is stunning and much in style with the double bed here. They even have a side table here with, uh, with a TV and a gaming console and also just some more arts on the wall and, you know, some board games and other clutter things here. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a follow for more content in the future. If you want to be notified of when I upload a video next, make sure to click the bell icon too. This build is playtested and up on my gallery. My ID is Hanami Sims, or you can find me with the hashtag Hanami Sims as well. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me today as we build this camping spot in Solani, and I can't wait to talk to you all in the next video. Until then, take care, bye!